This video will demonstrate Transform Excel to SQL by Synergy USA LLC. We open our SQL Server Management Studio, we connect to our database, and there we will create a new database. Let's give it a name. Now, we will open our Excel file, which contains the data that we want to transform and import into SQL. We click on our Synergy add-in, then the Transform button on the ribbon. The Transform Excel to SQL Server window will show. On the first tab, we choose our server name and authentication. Click the Refresh button, choose our database, and then click the Test Connection button. We have a successful connection, as we can see. Now we go on the second tab, Transform Columns. We choose the first column with repeated data that we want to transfer. We click Load Selected Column and we can see that the table name now is the same with the name on the column we chose. Then we click Create Table from Column and the column is transformed. We do that for all the rest of the columns that we want to transform. We repeat the steps. Also, notice that there is an option to adjust the transparency so as to be able to see what's underneath the window on Excel. Now all the columns that we need are created. We go on the third tab. We choose Load Columns. And there, for any repeated data column that we have performed on the data type, we choose INT. For example, for the column Product. For all the rest, we choose NVARCHAR50 or any other appropriate data type. Now we are ready. Let's make sure that everything is as it should be. And now we click Transform Excel and Confirm. We go back to our database. In SQL, under Tables, we will have the Master Table and all the rest of the tables from the columns we have transformed. We will create a new view. We will add all the tables. Let's create the relationship between the master table and the tables with repeated data. Now we will link from every table the ID with its correspondent name on the master table, respectively. Link tables, columns with repeated data in Excel, with the master table. Indeed, we see that the data are now normalized and transferred to the SQL server.